Sure. Hey guys, it's Clovis, and we're all here again for the final episode, the homecoming. How are we all? I know we just it's the final one. Yeah, you'd hope so. This top, this guy Literally is tough. Three times. This guy is so tough. Um, but we're gonna He's beat him, right. right? He's all right. I mean, as a final boss, I really kind of wanted him to test the player, and I hope I did a decent job. Um, I don't know if you guys would agree or not, but he's a lot harder than all the other duelists in the game, so... I would say oh, yeah, I... he's perfectly predictable. Predictably Predictable. overpowered. <laughs> yes. Yeah or no? Yeah. yeah. I, quite, I, I quite liked him as a final boss, like, you know, I had high praise for him when um, I first did it, and then I went and reincarnated and got Shape Snatch and... <laughs> Ruins the that, game. But... Yeah, if you didn't collect immortals, I don't know, like, the only way to beat this guy without immortals is, like, you just have a fuck ton of ter uh, terrain cards and just spam the hell out of them. So that's actually why I added uh, Arsenal uh, in. With, uh, trap spam mainly. Trap spam if he has Brawl Decree. But I didn't have any terrain changers. I think it was just brute forcing him and baiting him or something. Yeah, that works. My second... Yeah, my second card was, um, my, my second time round I just used Muka Muka, which wins every duel. Game, so. <laughs> yeah, that is, honestly, that card is, like, more powerful than Ryoku, honestly, because it just, it's like, it could give you way more damage than Ryoku can, just with its own effect, it's actually insane. Um, but also, just cheekily, I added in a Mech Mole Zombie, that'll change one of his types from Immortal to Zombie, and then hopefully kill it, that's how it should work. I haven't actually tried this before, but I'm, I want to do this, I want to do him dirty. So let's see. Oh, uh, but Clovis, how do I get Ryoku in this game? Should I actually spoil I it for it? people at this point? Because surely people would find it out by now. Should I say it? Or should I not? Oh, not nah, be a won't. dick. All right, I'll be a dick by <laughs> saying, don't, don't, don't use a card anyway because it just ruins your game. <laughs> That's you, all uh, I'm gonna put say. Put in the password y34pn1sv. Oh yeah, true, I forgot about that, just as a backup, so, you know, rewarding the player for beating the game. You know, they get the most powerful card in the game, so go and enter that password, actually, it just saves you beating the game to get it. And, uh, <laughs> on that note, I think we should, uh, fight the final boss. For sure. Prepare yourself for battle, this guy is not lying. Generic mad scientist There's the police. Come to the <laughs> Scottish, <laughs> Scottish police. Oh, what a map. I swear sometimes you live in a war zone, man. So, uh, no points for guessing what this guy's, uh, gimmick is. Yeah, nah. Oh, it's clearly, um, Dark Plant and monsters that have 1450 attack or lower. Um, cool thing! Yeah. I literally gave... Alright, so all immortals have one more ability than normal. I think one of you guys are like, uh, isn't it dangerous to buff them? But I was like, you know what? These are like the strongest cards in the game. They're more difficult to rank up because you can't duplicate them. Um, so I was like, look, they're the strongest cards in the game, so I'm going to incentivize players to level them up because it's a cop-out that you only get one ability. The reason I gave Kara Idol a Moisture Creature direct damage halved was literally because I wanted this duel to be even more difficult. So it's actually, since doing that change, it's more sensible to not attack this deck leader because you need 8,000 damage to kill him. Whereas if you can defeat his monsters, it works like normal, so... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We have to open with Curse Breaker, surely. Surely. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. If you had a Spellbinding, uh... <laughs> oh, okay. You could play Ryoku. <laughs> yeah. I just... I, I, yeah, I had an itch. Holy shit. And also that. Alright. Cool. Damn. 2400 still. After oh. all that effort. We dispelled 2500 attack and he still has 2400. Oh my um, god, what is that animation? What animation? Does, all right, we have to test if the uh, Mech Mole Zombie works. But yeah, he's grieving. My theory is it won't kill it immediately, but when he ends his turn, it'll get killed. That's yeah, the I was going to say that too. But yeah, so let's just appreciate this guy for a second. Imagine him in the fucking club, man. Like, he'd be picking up all the chicks. <laughs> Holy shit. He'd just be pulling all the babes. Oh my god, look at him go. He's just styling on us, he doesn't give a fuck. Well, there goes the uh, 500 boost, obviously. Oh, there yeah, you go. Okay. Oh. Hmm, not bad. It finished the battle thing, and then, yeah. Hmm. I have no idea what this is, but we're gonna find out the hard way. If this is, um, because this guy doesn't know about Jowls' effect, if we bait out an attack, 
then he will kind of take control of a monster or like that he doesn't want to. I don't know. I'm saving Definitely magical visualizing. Definitely take control of your deck leader. Oh no, well, not like the, the glitch does, but... Oh shit. Shape Snatch. Oh, we should have changed to like a zero attack deck leader for Shape Snatch. That's actually a strat I've never thought about before, but it's kind of legit. Just like, I don't know, like main, unhappy maiden deck leader, and then this guy tries to attack you with Shape Snatch. That would be so great. Ooh, this is How nice. often are you going up against Shape Snatch though, to be fair? Uh, not too often. I guess if it was zero attack in his hand, he would never play it over any other thing, so I guess that's a terrible strategy. Um, you know what? I think... Arsenal book then. Yeah, I think I just need a Kamikaze. He'll lay the crush down again, but um, I don't care. I don't even care. Uh, let's see his attack animation. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this, or maybe I did earlier in the episode, but yeah. Um, I definitely did before, but yeah, summoning level 7 for all these overpowered 3-star cards. So, let's just see his battle animation, because people probably want to see that anyway. <laughs> I love that <laughs> I like how it doesn't play the uh, animation like uh, Until after, yeah. Cosmic Queen does. Yeah, nah, it doesn't. It just, like... It does the effect, does that battle animation, and then it does the attack on effect the sound effect you know i gotta say i really like the music for this particular uh battle area the forest mm, it's peaceful. some of the music in all of these scenes are like pretty good this one's pretty serene though yeah it's i really liked this one as a kid and i think it made me like unironically nostalgic for you know those like um digital keyboard things how they have all the different voices on them the oboe I don't know, or like the, the flute sounds, like you could actually play that do 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 thing like really easily if you wanted to. Um, I just like that sound because of that. Uh, so, yeah, playing off what you were saying, I do like it as well, basically. <laughs> I just realized where Arsenal Bug's eyes are. I didn't realize after all this time until just oh, now. Oh shit, now I need to look at it. I was, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I hope it's not in its arse. Wait, that's I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's on the little um, <laughs> horn thing. Really? Yeah, in the end, you can see the two eyes. Because I always thought it was the front. The oh wait. Yeah, that's what I did as well. But no, like those eyes are there. I thought uh, that's. I always thought that was like generally accepted that those two red beads in the black holes are the eyes. No. It's more that I never noticed it because I'm really <laughs> bad at noticing eyes on Yu-Gi-Oh cards for some reason. Yeah, true. Plus, what if it's... his real eyes are on the shield. No. His face is on the shield. <laughs> no. it, it almost looks like it. It's like a Quake logo, a bootleg one. What was I going to say about this? Oh yeah, imagine like you Destiny draw this guy maybe once as a kid, and you're playing on a CRT on like 240p resolution with the AV cables. You would never notice half of the details in any of these cards, unfortunately. Um, hmm. That is true. Let's be honest. The way that most people saw Arthur Bug as a kid is if they got it during the tutorial. When it just when it demonstrates destiny draw, it's got like a chance of oh, doing doesn't. arsenal bug. I didn't even notice that. that. Yeah, I only played the tutorial it, it, once. It, it, <laughs> once uh, is enough. Because it um you're a low rank in it and it pulls from the first destiny draw rule, which is the arsenal bug rule. Damn. So the game has a chance of just like massively debating you. <laughs> it's great. Flexing on you basically. I don't even know my game plan here. He's gonna have a royal decree at this point. No, he doesn't. Two attack monsters. All right, may as well use traps now. Oh, that's not a trap. That is. Before he plays royal decree and I get owned when I'm, because if he has a face down defense card, I'm not gonna bait anything out. Does this guy have mirror wall? No, he just has a royal decree, so I didn't give him any other traps. Unlike the developers and Seto Kaiba. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, hmm, what can I do here? But yeah, he has... Seto Kaiba in the base game has a Royal Decree and then like three other trap cards. So if he sets that, or... Or the worst is Negate Attack and Royal Decree. Every single time you attack him, it's just... Whoosh, negated, and he negates his own effect. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> kind of bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, very... Just certified Duels of the Roses moment. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Except... Yeah, I've used that phrase a lot in this playthrough, but someone said it to me once and I found it quite witty. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use that. What is he doing? Nice. Hey, that's a good one. 
Yeah, because it disables his effect. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's got to be Royal Decree, surely. If not, then... Uh, well, first of all... Uh, do we have any monsters on the field? Like This one. I purposely put this there so I could do hourglass wacky stuff, but... Uh, maybe I shouldn't dump... I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I need to draw my immortals to beat this guy. Just gonna kill yourself with so. hourglass again. <sighs> Let's do this then. Like, Let's do he's this. Got, he's probably got a direct attack on you unless you sack your reaper this turn or something. Well, that was the plan, literally. Like, I'm just hoping this isn't. Uh... Would this be higher attack? No, it wouldn't, because I'd have 3380. So without any equips. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, can, nice. Jowls. I had a feeling that was Jowls, but I really didn't want to make that call. Oh, if I kill this thing, it's going to power up all of his stuff. <laughs> Which is kind of scary. Oh, I've got uh, Magical Neutralizing Force Field. That's fine. That's fine. What deck cost did you get Magical Neutralizing Force Field in this mod? 25. That's fair. Yeah, because it's not, like, broken, it's just more powerful than 10 deck cost suggest. It's one of those kind of techie cards, so yeah. Alright, sure, we may as well watch this battle. <laughs> Why not? We've probably already Let's seen see, it. Uh, Reaper the cards, finally. I don't think we've actually seen his attack animation, despite him being our deck leader. It's pretty underwhelming anyway. Looks like they're fighting in the wet markets. <laughs> this is the Corona battlefield, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They should be wearing masks. They're breaking the law. Alright, Reaper of the Cards. Uh, China. China. Hmm? Oh, will this not activate Hourglass? Oh, it will. Alright, cool. Oh, because it overrides the destruction effect. No, it still worked. Or did it? No, jobs. it didn't. Yeah, there you go. I was actually hoping he'd take a bunch of damage there. Because I was ready to fucking neutralize him, but oh well. How, what attack power is... oh, 1800. Kind of sucks. I mean, there's a chance that we could win by attacking Slate Warrior with like a buffed up Soul Hunter. Well, what do you mean 18... oh, yeah, that is. Um, we could still... uh, I don't know, yeah, we wouldn't yeah. reach that amount of You'd damage. You'd only do 400 damage. Yeah, it's Either not way. gonna do much. Probably a bit of a waste. I don't know what play to make this turn though. Obviously I have to play something here right now or he's gonna fucking destroy us, so uh let's see. Dream Clown. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to block a card there, but I kind of really don't have an option, don't I? I like so. how you put an arsenal bug and forest is actually just the worst terrain for your deck. <laughs> well it doesn't matter because I'm gonna fight him on the immortal anyway. Yeah, this is a classic uh chakra AI thing. Because we had this with um uh, Bakura earlier, where he was just like, oh no, or was it someone else? No, it was us. So it was just like, play a card here, flip up and attack this, like, over his monster. So it didn't really work. Did I just say that Time Eater is a card that, when looking at the art of finally seeing the actual model, completely threw me off. I just expected yeah. to see, like, to a, be a clock, clock, and then you get <laughs> a huge buff die. Yeah, he's fucking bodybuilding. Look at this guy, he's a tank. Does he have eyes? Is that like a Sengenjin, like... <laughs> re re color Sengenjin. Nah, it's not. Those it does kind really of really big hands. He's like straight out of Castlevania. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, sorry. I just gotta check the stained glass. Ooh. <laughs> shape- they pick Shape Snatch? They're fucking hilarious. They pick Did Shape Snatch as a big one. Huh? Did you go to Jowl of Demise real quick to see the model? Is it just like a rotting head? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it is. That's nasty. Because yeah, it's, it's inside the mouth in the picture. Is it like yeah. that in the English uh, one too? Wiggles. Wait, what? What thoughts? Sorry, is the model different in the English version at all, or is it? No, it's the same. No, it's, exactly it's the just same. like that. It's just a severed wow. dragon head, basically. But yeah, I mean, can you imagine if the model was literally just like jaws with nothing <laughs> behind it? I think they had to make this head, right? <laughs> So, There's, can you see his eyes if you angle it right? Like on the same as the card? No, you can't. I think it's oh, part of his sad. attack effect, though. Yeah, 
I think it's part of his attack effect does that though. Uh, but this card is a sitting duck. I kind of want to make a play, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm maybe. To just, uh, stop calling Jails of Doctor my Zeno from now on, just because that's such a cooler name. Oh yeah, because um, the base, the OCG, it lets you use like dual monsters or the other card names, and the Immortals are all different. That one Zeno, like in fucking. What are those? I don't know, they all have weird names. Like, their name changes, but I can't remember all of them, but yeah, this one was just... I think it's one of them's Jowls of Dark Device, like, original name, and the other one just says Xeno. I don't know oh, why they the did that. fucking text. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is 2020 real-life Yu-Gi-Oh card text effect right here. Wait, this, is, this is like some pendulum shit. <laughs> Literally, like, all these summoning conditions or whatever the fuck. Imagine Relinquished Man, just Jesus. Uh, let's see. Uh... I like how you're like really analyzing what to do here when I think you've already got like a win con. That's quite straightforward to do. Yeah, I want to revive Ryoku, but I wanted to kind of do it for um, yeah Jowls. So we'll see. I mean, you could do it off Slate Warrior with Soul Hunter, and you'd win. Yeah, but that's boring. I was paying attention, but did you find the hidden card on this map, or is there no. one? No. So I might get there. Actually, that would be a cool thing to show off. It's just. We may as well do the attack animations, because this is the final episode. <laughs> may as well inflate the count. Uh, oh. His attack. <laughs> that dream clown noise when he took damage. Did you hear that? It's like a Final Fantasy <laughs> yeah. enemy. It's kind of oh, so the way he just kind of like follow, yeah. falls over and dies. <laughs> he goes back to the dance. He's just like, he kills you and then immediately styles on you. Yeah, back to grooving. <laughs> He's got the moves, man. Alright. Mmm. That's All right. the moisture pooch. Can we kill? Uh, oh, oh shit, I did not want to play that card. That was a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Again, peak AI right there. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually, no, I literally, literally was meant to select Copycat there. That was terrible. Oh well. Um, I, he didn't kill this? Is this like a fucking another Jowls? And he doesn't want to attack me? Because I didn't. I don't think I gave this guy Servant of Catabolism. Oh, there you go. He's just going to do that Mikus instead. Yoke. Does he have that? Yeah, he has more than one Mucus Yoke, I'm pretty sure. I gave him three. Yeah, so... Oh, no, 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 sorry, I meant Jowls. I don't know why I was like... Because they're both the weak, low-attack Immortals, so I was like, oh, yeah. Um, but I don't think I gave him any of the weak ones, except this one with a powerful effect. Because I didn't want him to open with, like, you know, zero attack and then just die. Uh, plus, I couldn't... Your could Jowls would be the most pointless thing. <laughs> it's still powerful, like, it still halves your life points, so it's not that bad. Um... Yeah, yeah, but it just... Bit of a waste, relatively speaking. All right, I don't, I don't trust him to not have a re uh, royal decree, so let's just play this. All right, well this is an easy choice. He hasn't played Magic Drain yet, surprisingly. Oh, what'd you play next time? Oh, that would suck actually a lot. Uh, we didn't see this attack actually. Did we? I don't think, so. think so. No, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, the normal terrain as well. The cool one. I love this terrain. Your time is up. <laughs> My time is now. Is he John Cena? It's time to do all? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alright, don't get vertigo. This is a really cool one. Yeah, it's one of the better ones, actually. The Immortals, they probably spent way more time on those than some of the other ones. Which is surprising to me, given, like, so much of the game just feels unfinished, but... He just did the yeah. Devil Horns. But yeah, you're right. Sorry, but... Well, yeah, the game, the base game feels unfinished, but it's like... All of the animations and everything, um, all the models and everything, they would have really, really done a lot. Like, and they even went to the effort of making, like, attack animations for 
Um, and victory animations for like the worm cards you can't even attack with, or you're not supposed to. So they've really thought ahead. It would be funny if you uh, cheat them in and you just crash the game. Wait, cheat what in? Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be fucking terrible. So it makes sense that they didn't um, do that. Let's play this. But you can't but you can have attack animations with the uh, worm cards. Yeah, you can. You can. Because That's what we're saying. Yeah, I can attack into them, so... <laughs> Not if they... Well, actually, would Weevil play in face-up attack position? Like, if he had a face-up... Um, Gorgon's Eye or something? No, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant you have yours in face up attack position. You have yours in face down attack position and he attacks into it. And because you've equipped it or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I rec your recorded off. that, but I didn't record their oh, victory yeah, yeah. animations. Because you have to initiate an attack to do that, the victory animations. If the enemy attacks you and you attack second, it doesn't do the victory animation. Ah. Yeah, so it's a bit tricky. I couldn't actually do that without, you know. You kind of need a hack and change the effect of those cards to show it. But yeah, death by a moisture creature. Without immortals, this fight would not have been as easy. Oh, yeah. Um, what? I think that Serpent Marauder doesn't negate the effect of the Moth of the Pupa cards. Why would it? Well, because it, maybe they coded it poorly and oh, it was a movement effect to disable it. I don't know. But oh, I just I just don't know what uh because Serpent Marauder disables bonus movement, so Yeah, I know, but I'm thinking if you fuck up coding it. Oh, no slots. But it shouldn't. Ooh. I did, I, I feel like time. it would, Yeah, functionally. Yeah, we got the time save in the speed run, that's a classic. Um uh, her quick comment on that, the only like two cards you can loot from this guy are Mega Morph and Magic Drain. Um, because you're not really supposed to farm this guy, he's supposed to be the final boss, like after you beat this guy you're kind of supposed to play with a different deck, um, because that's more replayable than playing the open field with an already strong deck. So let's F4 until the credits, so we can all reminisce on the emotional credits. Wait, yeah, where's the code? The ending. Yeah, the, uh, what, we don't even get sent back to our time, you get just like, yeah I'm the king now, by the way you can F off. Enter this password, guys. One is Ryoku, one's Mirror Force. Don't at me. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Save, because why the hell not? Who knows? There might be post-game developer commentary. Probably not, because I'm just going to probably stream the game playing every starter deck after this. So, that's the developer commentary. That's it. We beat the fucking game. Did you think this was a decent mod, then? me i don't think that's what, up for uh, me to say yeah i think you no. yeah go go say it. no it's, it's like if someone plays a mod then at the end they're like oh this was an okay mod oh yeah whatever. yeah so i'm joking <laughs> asking you this same question yeah um phew, it, it sucks because you know i would like to say it's good because I, if it wasn't good i wouldn't have made the decisions i made but it's hard to sit here and say i'm great and my mod is great you know what i mean i think that's up for other people to Bit say yeah, exactly. And it, you know, I'm not here to do that. We're a, we're a happy channel. We do say the F word a lot, especially me, but uh, we don't talk about the, the, the nasty side of things. Um, although actually we uncensored the art, so I think it's fair game to talk about that, right? Uh, we didn't censor things for Christian children, so maybe it's... Oh, this, okay. your viewers don't need to know about your uh, strange online accounts. But they do when he streams. <laughs> Yeah, when I open up... You think I would do 12 hours? Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't have mentioned that uh, on a stream anyway, but... Um, hmm. Hey, I haven't shown my feet on stream. I think that's when I cross a line. If Clovis, that happens... Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. Go to Morney Jail. Jesus. Well, it's true. I've had people ask me to show them, and I've refused. So I'm, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> What the uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've had a lot of shit. I ha I do, and I want to thank all of them for my um, ever-growing success. For everyone who sent me a nice comment to counteract the freaking absolute weirdos. Um, yeah, this is the credits of my own mod. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think we're I think just we gonna add a disclaimer in like 
uh, like in the description of the first video saying um, we we talk over each other constantly. Sorry. Oh, if someone brings it up, I'll reply or pin a comment saying that. But um, whew. is there anything any of you guys would like to say before we cut the video off on the final episode? Or um... I hope you enjoy playing the mod and yeah. uh, let us know how you get on, what what cards you use, what starter deck you pick up. And if you have any questions on how to set up the mod, I'm sure Thoughts will be more than happy to answer them. I will kill you. Yeah, if you guys have any questions... <laughs> if you guys have any questions on how to install the mod, please, for God's sake, I'm not even being, like, funny here. Just read the readme. Like, because yeah. if, if you it's read closing, it, like, it tells uh, you how to do it. It's a closing, you know, word, please. Uh, that's If if we want any you to take anything away, uh, just read the readme. Yeah, if you don't read the read, read the end of like, I'm glad this is at the yeah. end of like part 15 or something. Really get yeah. the Shit. point. The end of the final <laughs> part. Well, we've inspired. I'm sure by um, all these countless deaths and crazy shenanigans, we've inspired people to play the mod. Um, and I know there's a lot of stuff we didn't really talk about. Some duels we didn't talk about the duel at all. We were just sharing banter. But I do plan on making a lot of videos for this game. So, thanks everybody for watching all this crazy developer commentary that is kind of ridiculous but i hope you guys all had a lot of fun i hope you guys in this channel had a lot of fun and i think we're gonna close it there so everybody say goodbye and thank you peace bye see you later everybody ciao